tented village has sprung up in the grounds of Stafford Hospital. It's home to campaigners opposing changes to services there. They say they're planning a summer of protests outside the hospital. They're opposing plans to move some services away from Stafford when the trust is dissolved later this year. Our Staffordshire reporter Liz Copper is there for us this evening. Liz, how long are they planning to stay there? Well, the tents that you can see behind me were pitched at the weekend and this camp is part of what's been a very long-running protest. Now, Cheryl Porter from Support Stafford Hospital is with us this evening. Just begin by explaining what you hope to achieve by setting up camp like this. Well, we've tried everything else and we feel now that a protest camp with everybody re relaying in and out uh, for the next however long it takes, people might just sit up and start listening to what we're trying to say to them. We need our acute services at this hospital and instead of ripping the heart out of this hospital and the acute services and sending us all up the motorway to Stoke or Wolverhampton or Warsaw, some of it should be kept here and it should be across a shared uh, service and they are just not listening and somebody has to because it's dangerous. Now last week you heard that two applications for judicial review had been turned down. Realistically that's the end of the road isn't it? No, not at all. I mean I, was, I felt sick, I think we all felt sick when we heard the news but for us there's an appeal and we're going to go for the appeal. Thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening. Now, the hospital have said that they respect the right of the campaigners to air their views about the future of services here at Stafford, and they've been given reassurances that there'll be no disruption either for patients or for visitors. Liz, Liz Copper, thank you. Evening, Russia.